feel like I've overshared already. It's very much a TMI situation, isn't it? I don't. I I literally don't have anything to hide anymore. It's quite liberating in a way. Although again, I, I resent being put in this situation. So yeah, um, I'll let the audience adjudicate. You know, are things as grave as as Kim would like you to believe? You, you know, you be the judge. So there's Lloyd literally saying at the end of his infamous confession video that he will let the viewers adjudicate. We can be the judge. Has he committed a terrible offense as Kim Silvio has painted it? Um, that's really interesting that he but, said this. Um, yeah, just be patient, really. Yeah, we're going to be patient. Um, I find it very remarkable that in the same video, he said, none of this is anyone's business but mine and my family. And in the same video at the end, he says, so there you have it. I will allow the viewers to adjudicate. I'll let you be the judge. He invited every single one of his subscribers and everyone who could possibly be privy to that video to literally judge him, people. All right. I wanted to start the video off with that because, again, it needs to, this needs to be very clear to everybody. We need to remember that we're not picking on him. We're not bullying him. We're not invading his privacy. He invited us all to make up our minds on this egregious behavior of his that he carried on for years. <laughs> but then it, get, it got so much better. This guy, then after inviting us to judge him, after we chimed in, became furious. He went on a campaign. He sent out he sent out dozens of these documents and they they hit people's mailboxes earlier this week. And the wording in the in the it, they're so they're such a joke. I mean, you've I'm not going to go into it that in depth because you've probably already seen stuff about it, but this uh litigation paperwork that he sent everybody was a joke. It all it was was solicitation. It wasn't a legal document. Um, the wording in this letter was because of the defamation of my character, I invite you to pay 3,000 euros or whatever the currency is. I don't know what, I don't know what you guys I don't know what you guys have over there. Sorry, but. It's like, we invite you to pay for the damages that I have incurred to my important work. You know, it's like something like that. And it's like, so this litigation, this legal document is basically saying, please pay me. I'm very upset and distraught. Would you kindly give me money? So... I, I know what the purpose of this paperwork was. It was to, it was to bully. The XJW community community was to threaten, and hopefully, Lloyd thought that by sending out this obvious joke of a document, that it was going to scare people into not talking about this huge scandal that he openly invited us to participate in and to judge and adjudicate. I think I should play it again. You want to hear it again? Because it's just so good. Oh my gosh. Here we go. My video is frozen again. Um, I feel like I've overshared already. It's very much a TMI situation, isn't it? I don't, I, I literally don't have anything to hide anymore. It's quite liberating in a way. Although again, I, I resent being put in this situation. So, yeah, um, I'll let the audience adjudicate, you know? Are things as grave as, as Kim would like you to believe? You, you know, you be the judge. 
But, um... All right, so, yeah. Yeah, just be... Yeah, that's why I and many others chimed in. That's why I made videos about it, because you invited us to, Lloyd. And then you got furious when we had something to say that you didn't like. And so you tried to send this cr these bullshit documents to everybody. Which, by the way, I didn't receive. In fact, there's a few of us that have not, suspiciously have not received this farce of a document. And I can't help but feel a little rejected. Lloyd Evans, like, what's the deal? I mean, granted, I've been careful with my wording. Um, not because I was worried of any legal action from your pathetic hands, but because, like, I, as a person, strive to be careful with my wording. Uh, more so as I've gotten older and wiser. I mean, having a YouTube channel over the years, I've learned the value of being very careful with what you say because when, man, I mean, it's so easy for people to, like, take a, a phrase and, like, rip it apart and spin it. and uh, But, you know. Yeah. Which is why you being a YouTuber for 10 years when you go, so I had sexual relations with girls. <clears throat> and by girls, I mean women. A women. It's like, dude, when are you going to learn that speech matters? You know? um but anyways yeah okay so the other big part of this video kim has retaliated she has responded to <laughs> this phony solicitation letter that lloyd has launched at dozens of ex jova's witnesses and i'm gonna read to you what she sent back it's so good here we go, Kim Silvio, March 11th, 2022. Blah, 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 let's skip down to it. Your letter makes some very serious allegations. All right, let me make sure that this is all in the frame here. Yeah, I think it is. Um, yeah, that should be good. Your letter makes some very serious allegations. For ease, I have itemized and respond as follow. Number one, that I presented and made public a series of false, insulting, and defamatory allegations about Mr. Evans, for which allegations you have absolutely no evidence. This allegation is false. I made disclosures through a subreddit post, hereafter referred as the statement on January 31st, 2022. The subreddit post was removed by the moderators of the subreddit within. Approximately one hour of the statement being posted, I have attached a copy of the statement to the letter for your convenience. The statement discloses the following facts. Here we go. Some weeks back, Lloyd openly and without warning notified me of his infidelity and engagement with prostitutes on a very regular basis over many years, amongst other matters that don't need to be specifically mentioned. The statement was based on the following facts. A. Mr. Evans disclosed information to me and a third party producer, Bob, pseudonym in December 2021. The identification of producer Bob is known to Mr. Evans. He also being aware of the reasons necessitating the identification of the person remaining private. The claim is confirmed by Mr. Evans. Statement that Lloyd has been in Thailand making use of the many different facilities and getting to know the locals and other tourists since shortly after Christmas, only returning to Croatia, Croatia after a few days ago. The statement was made based on the following facts. A. Mr. Evans was in Thailand in the time frame specified in the statement. B. I am in the possession of sufficient WhatsApp messages and photographs that clearly demonstrate that Mr. Evans was utilizing different facilities and getting to know the locals during the specified period. Yeah, I remember the picture that I shared with you guys from my last video with him in a girl of a questionable age there. Yeah. This statement was made based on, oh wait, we got another one. Statement, Lloyd subscribers, support team, and patrons are not being given the correct information. This statement was made based on the following facts. A, 
I have WhatsApp messages and documents that clearly demonstrate that Mr. Evans decided to go to Thailand prior to the 16th of December as he was upset with his wife. The reason he was upset with her related to the fact that initially his wife had agreed to participate in an exclusive non-monogamous relationship. However, upon a short period of reflection, a day or so, she decided that she did not wish to be in this type of relationship. Mr. Evans was infuriated and determined that he needed to get away from her as it is his, as it is a head fuck <laughs> that she changed her mind. So she has documentation that everything she stated is 100% true and accurate. So the gall of him to send her some kind of BS documentation saying that she essentially owes him money for defamation is ludicrous. And this, this response just brilliantly lays that out. B, in addition to the evidence in my possession, Mr. Evans states several times during the video that the reason for the need for his break was due to the issues relating to his marriage. Okay. So she has additional evidence that that is what his statement was uh, regarding his break and why he was doing it. Statement, use of funding generated through his activism work to pay for prostitution in industry known for the exploitation of women and minors. The statement was made based on the following facts. A, Mr. Evans has on several occasions dating back to 2015 confirmed his income sources on various social media outlets. A post in 2015 by Mr. Evans confirmed that I have Google ads on my website, PayPal, and I have a Patreon button at the end of my videos for people who want to donate to my work. He also stated that any proceeds from Google ad impressions, YouTube impressions, regular donations get plowed straight into my business to help pay for new equipment and justify the considerable time spent away from my regular job translating. Um, okay, C, in 2021, a user asked a question, uh, relation to Mr. Evans' Patreon and the need for it, given his income from Google ads and the sales from his literature. Mr. Evans clearly indicates in the above response to this question, confirming that he has four main streams of revenue, Patreon pledges, YouTube revenue, Teespring, Amazon royalties from JW Book Sales. D. Mr. Evans confirms that the revenue streams, Patreon and YouTube, make up the bulk and that Patreon is the most reliable since YouTube has historically been problematic. E. Mr. Evans confirms that the money gets churned mostly into wages, equipment, service, transcriptions, and fees, travel costs, other business expenses. F. Mr. Evans confirms if there is money left over at the end of the month, this gets churned back into the company so that we can plan for future projects. G. Mr. Evans confirms that he is a professional. This is all so well done. This is what an actual lawyer sounds like, by the way, in case you guys, it, it was unclear. Mr. Evans confirms that he is a professional full-time ex Jehovah's Witness writer and activist. His pledge to Patreon backers being that patron money all goes toward keeping me involved in the important work of churning out content. All of it. That's his claim. She's just nailing this. Mr. Evans' confirmation that his income is derived solely through sources generated through his activism work Given this fact, any prostitution could only have been paid for through income derived through his activism work. I got to read that again. H. Mr. Evans' confirmation that his income is derived solely through sources generated through his activism work. Wow. That's wonderful. Um, I, I would think it unnecessary to provide evidence that the sex worker industry is an industry known for the exploitation of women and minors. If this fact is in dispute, 
I would be more than happy to provide particulars in relation to this item. I think that also goes without saying. I agree. Um, and then he goes into like the other statements she made and, and defends them. Um, gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was the part that really sparked me, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. But uh, yeah, bravo to Kim for pointing out and very well defending herself and all of us for our remarks based on all of the statements he himself has made about his infidelity, his prostitute addiction, the statements he made about his income, how almost all of it comes from his activism, Patreon and so forth, and how the statement of where that money is, is going to be going towards, how it's going to be spent as part of how he solicited the, the donations in the first place, like that, all of that, there's documentation going back years and years and years. And um, he's got no leg to stand on over this defamation stuff. Um, what fun. This was this was uh, <laughs> humorous, and if you haven't seen um, Mark, uh, you know because Mark and Cora they have a YouTube channel, and uh, Mark just put up a video today where he calls this alleged lawyer that sent out this bogus solicitation document from Lloyd Evans and his team of. By the way, he's using donations to fund all this legal action as well. I hope you guys realize that. Like, not only is your donations and support funding prostitute addiction and infidelity, sex trafficking, and it's probably questionable the age of these girls. Like, not only are your donations funding that, but they're also funding this massive solicitation campaign and lawyers and litigation against the XJW community. Wow, I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud and I hope you think that that money is well spent, but um, I think that you're going to feel pretty silly one day for continuing to do so. I hope you can wake up again, uh, so to speak because um, this is just crazy. But uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Lloyd, I'm waiting for that letter, buddy. I, um, I'm really kind of salty about the fact, you know, every day I go out to my mailbox and I go, didn't come again today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Fateful slave. <laughs>